Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be organizing Emerson's dresser. I have a few projects left of organization in the house before baby boy comes and this is kind of a major one because baby boy is actually going to be sharing a room with Emerson and so therefore he's going to be sharing this dresser. This dresser is actually going to be moved into the closet but for now I just have to go through it, get rid of things that don't fit and just kind of divide the space up between Emerson and what baby boy is eventually going to be using. I <laughs> am 30 weeks pregnant. Actually tomorrow I will be 31 weeks pregnant. So projects like this is getting to be a little tougher. So now is the time to get it done before I am just too huge and can't do it anymore. So let's get started organizing Emerson's dresser, but let's go. First of all, I wanna show you what is inside each of her drawers. This drawer at one time was semi-organized. I have her jammies on this side, a bunch of her toiletries and nighttime stuff there. And then probably the majority of these pants don't even fit. The second drawer was never organized, <laughs> except for this little container. Um, but these are like her shorts and some swimsuits. These are sweatpants that she doesn't wear right now. And then these are a bunch of socks. And then the bottom drawer is just shoes. This was kind of empty space and so we just threw all her shoes in here. The first thing that I'm doing is giving the surface of the dresser a little wipe down. I'm going to be pulling things out of the drawer and setting them on top of the dresser and I just don't want to get the clean clothes dirty. So I'm giving everything a wipe down with my Thieves Household Cleaner. Next, I am taking everything out of the drawers so that I can see all the things that I am working with and see the space that I am working with too. And then I went through every single piece of clothing that Emerson had in these drawers and made sure that all of the articles of clothing still fit her. And if anything didn't fit, I set it off to the side in this laundry basket for me to store. And then I gave all of the drawers a good wipe down. Somehow they ended up really dirty, even though the only thing that I put in there were clean clothes, but I have a feeling that Emerson might have snuck a few things in there herself. These are the drawer organizers that I use in all of our dressers. I use them even in areas of the house that aren't dressers. I use them everywhere and they're the scub organizers from Ikea and these are all the things that come with it all the different shapes there's like a big square one couple longer rectangular ones and then some little square ones but this is how they come packaged um so I'm going to open this up and use this in Emerson's dresser and now I'm pulling all of Emmy's shoes out of the shoe drawer and putting them with their matches surprisingly and sadly I found a few single shoes that did not have a match and I'm also making sure that all of these pairs of shoes are shoes that still fit Emmy. For Emerson's shoe organization, the best solution that I found was a over-the-door sorter. So I will link this one in the description box for you guys. Mm -hmm. 
And now I'm folding all of Emerson's clothes using the filing method. I talked about the filing method in a previous video that I did on organizing mine and Andrew's dresser. So I'll go ahead and link that video down in the description box for you. But basically the filing method means that you fold all of the clothing in a way that they are able to stand up on their own and be filed away. That way you can see every piece of clothing that you have. And now I am putting all of Emerson's clothes back in the drawer and arranging the scub boxes in a way that makes sense to me. So the clothes that we don't wear very often are going towards the back of the drawer and the clothes that we wear more often and on a more daily basis are going towards the front for easy access. And now I'm arranging baby boy's drawer in a similar way that I did with Emmy's, just making sure that everything is conveniently placed for me for easy access when I need it. Now I'm going to be putting away a ton of diapers. These diapers were gifted to us from a family member. They're all in size one and they were already opened. So I didn't open these boxes. Like I said, they were already opened and I just thought I would put them away. Now I'm gonna show you how I fold various articles of clothing using the filing method. I'm gonna start with baby boy's clothes first and then show you how I fold Emerson's clothes. But this is how I fold his sleepers. And this is how I fold his onesies. And these are his pants. Now I'm moving on to Emerson's clothes and these are her diaper covers. And a pair of shorts. And now a pair of pajamas. This is a short sleeve shirt and if I folded her short sleeve shirts, this is how I would fold all of her short sleeves. And now a pair of pajama bottoms. and a long sleeve shirt. And if you have little girls, then you know the struggle of trying to find a neat way to organize little stockings. So I just folded these in half and then rolled them up and put a little hair tie around them just to keep them from unfolding and unraveling and then I just kind of throw them in with the rest of her socks. Here is the finished product of the organized dresser. Over here we have Emerson's toiletries and things like that, her toothbrush, toothpaste, her fingernail clippers and some floss. And then this is like her hair stuff. So little ponytails and hair brushes. And then this is just her sleepy time um, essential oils roller for nighttime. Then over here we have lotions and diaper cream. And then an extra toothbrush is right here. Back here are her sweatpants. She doesn't wear them so that's why I tucked them away. Um, she doesn't wear them right now because it's summertime obviously. 
but we have them just in case. And then over here we have her little Sophie shorts. She has more of them. They're just in the dirty clothes right now. And then these are her little Nike shorts. And then all of these are her long pants that still fit her. We shall see if they'll still fit her come winter time, but for now they still fit, so I'm gonna keep them here. Back here we have all of her little diaper covers that go with some of her outfits. And then this is pajamas, and then this is her little wearable blanket. So that was Emerson's drawer. This is baby boy's drawer. He obviously still needs a few things, but I've organized it and planned ahead for when he does get more things. So over here are swaddles. Most of them are too big. Actually, all of them are too big except for this middle one right here. This is a newborn. Um, but those are his swaddles. These are all of his sleepers that he has right now. I think they're newborn through maybe three months. And then these will be his little onesies. Again, I don't know what size they are, but when he gets more onesies, I'll put more in there. These are little muslin swaddles and just some extra blankets. This is where his pants are gonna go, pants and if he has any shorts, um, maybe I'll put the shorts over there. But for now, this is where his little pants are gonna go and this is where his socks are. So that is baby boy's drawer for now. And then this is kind of our miscellaneous drawer. It has Emerson's socks because she doesn't really wear socks in the summertime right now. These are all of her swimsuits and a swim diaper, some sun hats. And then we were given all of these diapers. There's actually an entire other box. <laughs> um, but we were given all of these diapers, thankfully. They're size one, which Emmy was in size one pretty much from the get-go. She was able to wear newborns, but she was also able to wear size one. So I'm figuring I'm going to have another big baby. And... Um, so he'll get a lot of use out of these size ones. Um, but I just went ahead and stored them in this drawer to have for easy access. And then I'll have another drawer in our bedroom full of diapers too. But I just used these little scub drawer dividers from Ikea and loaded up all the diapers. That is Emerson's and now Baby Boy's dresser. This is where we keep all of Emerson's shirts and dresses. So. Over here are her jackets and long sleeve, and then we have some of her like church dresses or fancier dresses, some more casual dresses. These are one pieces and rompers. These are like little onesies. Over here we have her sleeveless shirts, and then we have her short sleeve shirts. Whoops, that's fallen off. And then we have casual short sleeve and then some of her like dress up tutus and things like that. I just prefer to hang Emerson's shirts up in the closet. I think it's so much easier and it keeps them from getting wrinkled. I am considering this round one of the organization of this dresser because as, as I get more things for baby boy, I know that it's going to change. Probably not Emerson's top drawer. That will probably stay the same. Um, but these bottom two drawers will probably look a little bit different once I get more things. I know that Andrew and I have talked about the fact that baby boy is going to be in our room for at least a couple months while he's a newborn. So we are going to, going to move one of Andrew's drawers. We're going to clear it out and move that stuff somewhere else and put a few extra things like onesies, extra pajamas, and then a whole bunch of diapers in that drawer because that's where I'm going to be doing his nighttime um, changes. I'm gonna be feeding him in there. So that just makes sense. I'm not gonna be bringing him in here and waking up Emmy to get a pair of pajamas or to get some diapers or to change him or whatever. So yeah, this was round one. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing at least how I fold clothes and how I'm organizing Emerson's things. And then I will update you guys a little bit later once I have a better system for baby boys things. But. This is what it is for now, and it feels really good just to have Emerson's things organized and all of the pants and clothes that don't fit her elsewhere. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already for more organization inspiration and baby updates and life updates. Subscribe, and I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.